During the Apollo 11 mission, uh, my role was at, at Launch Control. The Launch Control Center in Florida <clears throat> is uh, where the Saturn V and the Apollo 11 was launched from. And I'd already been working there for almost 10 years, so uh, for me, getting to work in the firing room was pretty exciting. The firing room is where uh, the managers and the test conductors and engineers and technicians are gathered. They're close to 500 people. They're in one room together and they're literally locked in there, in that room, and focused on completing the mission. I had been involved in a lot of tests, and most all of those tests, in fact, meetings, pre-launch planning, procedure reviews, I would be the only woman in the room. So I was used to being the only woman in the room. If you're the lone woman in the room or you're amongst a small percentage of women in an organization, the number one thing is do your job, get your work done. Be, be highly competent in accomplishing what they need you to do, what they ask you to do. I didn't have very many tools to use when I was a young woman and, uh, you know, I was very lucky. I had a good husband who advised me. And some of the things that happened to me, like obscene phone calls, I, I would never repeat to anybody except him. I could tell him exactly what was said, but I couldn't tell any. Couldn't tell my mom and dad. I couldn't tell my supervisor. I couldn't tell my coworkers. I just could not do it. And uh, these are are things that each individual has to handle based on their own personal strength. The discovery of the Van Allen belt that very much intrigued me and kind of piqued my, the, the intellect of my brain was like, this is going to change the world I'm in. This is new knowledge. This is something nobody ever knew. And because we launched a, a satellite, we learned this. And I thought the amount of learning that's out there is going to be enormous. And I'm, I want to be in on it. I want to be part of it. That was where I was coming from. So. I was a I was a, a inadvertent trailblazer because that was something I saw I wanted to do and it didn't occur to me when I first applied to be an engineer's aide that they wouldn't they, their ad for the job said student it didn't say boy and I was a good student I made A's and I love math and science and so I applied and, and they hired me.